Hey everyone, my name is Peyton and in this video I'd like to go over setting up a panning texture inside of Unreal Engine 5. Uh, so you can see here in my little test environment, uh, I actually have this shader set up already. Um, and basically it's just having a panning uh, text actually going across the screen. Uh, and it's actually quite simple to set something up like this and I wanted to go through that process and then uh, in addition to that even set up a couple of uh, just quick controls where we can actually uh, change it out and everything uh, without you know too much hassle so I think what's great about this is it definitely adds a uh, nice little detail to your environment and uh, relatively is quite easy to set up as well uh, so I have this model that I set up and I wanted to show uh, kind of what the UVs look like for it first uh, so just going to jump over to Maya here and inside of Maya, you'll see that it's a uh, yeah pretty simple bottle. Uh, if I just isolate this, you can see I have some bevels and everything. And then I have a different material ID on this middle part. Um, that's actually my background. And then I have a floating uh, plane. So uh, the reason why I wanted just this uh, kind of card in front is that way I could do a mask. And uh, it would be pretty cheap to have it uh, actually transparent with the, the letters going across and then I could have whatever material I wanted on the background and those were kind of two separate things. So I exported these out together uh, and brought it in and we of course have this uh, actually in my UVs as well. It's aligned to the top portion of the zero to one space. And of course, on my zero to one space is where I'm actually going to be putting my text. You know, there's a lot more room here, so you could really continue to add a lot to the sheet and have all kinds of uh, variation to it. Um, but for now, I just was trying to use uh, the, the top portion and kind of show some examples with that. So I'm going to hop back over to Unreal Engine. And now that we are in here, I want to set up a shader that is pretty much similar to this. So I'm going to really quickly go over to the actual texture location uh, for this shader here and um, want to go into the textures, find materials, there we go, and then signage. So I'm just going to create a new material and I want to place it here on this flat plane. So I'm going to click here and then drag that over. So now we can just see that, yeah, it's super simple. Um, nothing's going on, it's just a grid at the moment. And then I want to also bring in, you know, one of my textures. And so these textures here, I quickly made in Photoshop just using um, font and everything. But uh, like the one that we already have here, it's just aligned to the top portion of it. I'm gonna drag this one in and actually set that one up. So I'm going to switch this over. Uh, we, of course, want to use this black and white as a mask. Um, and for my opacity and everything, I'm going to switch it over from opaque over to translucent. Um, and then, uh, or I could also do mask, but I'll probably just do translucent. And then, yeah, let's leave it at that. Um, and for now, I could just plug in this opacity and we should get a result if I switch it over um, to a different shape so it's kind of showing up it's it's hard to see but uh, let's say I hit apply um, and then there we go we can see the coming soon which looks like it's doing all right and then of course I want my base color and everything too so I'm probably gonna multiply this by a color uh, so I'm going to uh, just held the uh, number three while I clicked and, and made uh, this constant. Um, so I can use that for my color. And then I'm going to multiply that in. If I hold M on the keyboard and click, of course, it also makes the multiply. Um, so that's how I was using some of those shortcuts. But just dragging this over here, um, I can now set up, hit apply. And if I change the color at all, we will see those results. Now it's not going to be too strong. You know, if I actually go over here and I'm going to do another one, another multiply holding the M and then I want to multiply that by one constant. So I just held the one uh, 
value or the one uh, key. And then I'm going to do this to 10 just kind of as an exaggeration. Um, and we'll see that we have uh, the coming soon now pretty bright. Uh, and that's because I'm putting it into my emissive color and yeah, um, pretty much blowing it out with this tone, um, which is seems to be working pretty decently at the moment. Um, but now, of course, like that's not moving. And, you know, the one up top is moving. Uh, pretty big difference. And this is uh, one simple thing that we can pretty much set up. And so if you right click and I'm going to type in panner and we can get a value of this and I can plug this into my uh, coordinates for my texture sample um, and by default the speed of X and Y is zero so you can see if I change this that's gonna be my Y so it's going up and down um, and then the X if I change it you'll see that it is my side to side. Um, now, of course, that's way too fast. So I can hit that. And cool, let's say it's probably still going too fast. I'm gonna hit a 0.2 for my speed value. And there we go, that's not too bad. So I'm gonna do a, uh, hold down the two and do a two constant or a constant here, um, plug that into my speed, and I want to right click this and convert to parameter. So I'm going to do that, and then we're just going to name this parameter uh, speed. And I'll pretty much be able to use the uh, red value um, to actually control the speed because of the, uh, the x, y, and all, um, and then green would actually go. Uh, why so I'll be able to use that uh, if I were to set up a instance um, pretty much just got that going um, and I can actually switch all of these over to I'm gonna name this one the LED color I want to name yeah this one's already speed let's do And then I want to change this value to a parameter as well. And then uh, this is going to be the emissive um, intensity. So there we go. And then one last thing, if I convert this to a parameter as well, so texture. Cool and let's say it's a default value here a 0.1 so we're going to leave that and we pretty much you know already have our panning texture set up which is nice um, but you know if i want to switch it out and not necessarily have to go through that process with every single texture uh, of course if we convert all those parameters we can actually set up some material instances so now I can right click on this uh, now that we've set that shader up I'm going to do create material instance and in this instance um, let's say that I want a different texture uh, so I'm going to drag this out and actually apply the uh, material instance to that location um, and then let me do this a couple more times so drag that up and then I'll do one more where I convert a another material instance from it and so this one's going to be applied to that one and now I can go into these instances and let's say I actually enable the checkbox for the texture uh, let's say that instead of the coming soon I want it to say now playing um, and that's working on that third level and then I have a couple of other ones as well here so um, with this one I can open up this texture and then do if I enable the there we go um, and so really quickly we have you know three different versions of this sign going 
Uh, another one is the speed here. So I can change the, I'm just using the color picker uh, to control that. Um, but yeah, I can go from zero to one in this red channel and it's going to be the X. So you can see, uh, yeah, can quickly change that one. Then let's go over here and change this one as well. Um, so they're all going at different speeds. And then if I leave the speed one and actually go over to the LED color, I can also change the, the color as well, which is pretty nice. Um, we got going on here and then turn up the intensity of the emissive as well. And now we have all kinds of different variations that can really quickly be made. Um, and you get some yeah, pretty solid results. Uh, and you can, of course, expand upon this quite a bit as well. Uh, but I think it offers just, uh, you know, at the bare bones with this, the basic level of using a panning texture and how you set it up. I think it can offer some uh, really awesome details to your environments and, uh, yeah, just bring a lot more life to that. So I uh, hope you found this video useful and I will catch you next time.